Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. Gemini 2.0 Pro, Google's most powerful AI yet. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into Google's Gemini 2.0 Pro, the next big leap in AI technology. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a full blown revolution in how we interact with AI. From advanced multimodal capabilities to mind blowing improvements in reasoning, image generation, and coding support. Gemini 2.0 Pro is packed with features that are set to change the game. In this video, I'll break down all the key updates, what makes it so powerful, and how you can start using it. Let's get started. As you can see in AI Studio here, this model has got a 2 million token count. We've got access to tools, code execution, function calling, grounding with Google search, all of the things that we had in the Pro 1.5 model. And this model has been improved for tasks like coding, general reasoning, and generally just where you want a model with a bit more grunt than something like the Flash models. Now let's take a look at the family of Gemini models that has came out. So for a start, if you've already been using the 1.5 Flash or the 1.5 Pro, don't worry, they're not going away. You'll still be able to use them for quite some time to come. But we've got three major additions to the family today. The first one is that the Gemini 2.0 Flash model that has been in preview is now generally accessible. This is now gone GA. This means that it's going to be in AI Studio where you can use it, probably with better rate limits, etc. It's going to be in Vertex where you can use it for production grade apps. It's going to be available in the Gemini consumer app that people use both on the web and I think on their phones and stuff as well. The second Flash model that's coming out in public preview is a new 2.0 Flash Lite. This is kind of a replacement for the Flash 8B. If you used that in the past, the 1.5 Flash 8B if you can remember, and the idea here is that this is the least expensive Gemini model out there. It's very high throughput. It's made for when you want a really quick model that you can do a variety of different tests. Now it looks like the new Flash Lite model is not going to be multi-model. It's going to be text and it's just optimized purely for those text users, etc. And of course, the big model coming out is the Gemini 2.0 Pro model. So this is experimental, but it's both available in AI Studio as well as Vertex. It has a 2 million token context window. It can handle audio, it can handle images, it can handle video, etc. And it's also got all the features for things like function calling, structured outputs, tool use, search grounding, etc. for all these kind of things. So let's test out Gemini 2.0 Pro model and see what it can actually do. Go to aistudio.google.com. Inside AI Studio, you can actually get access to all the new models for free. And for example, so you got 2.0 Flash, Flashlight, Pro Experimental, and Flash Thinking Experimental. So let's try building something up. Another way we can use and test this is we can go to any chat. This available hugging face, I'll leave the link in the description below. Click select provider and choose Gemini down here. Next click here and click on Gemini coder. And let's select Gemini model which is pro experimental right here. And down here let's type in the prompt. Let's say create a self playing snake game that moves autonomously. Then click on generate. Once it's finished, she'll actually be able to preview it or preview the game itself and be able to test it if it works. And now we have the game that plays itself. So this is the result. We have here the snake game. It's pretty cool. So easy to code it. Literally all I did was just give it a little prompt and it came up with this. It's amazing. And if we go inside aistudio.google.com, so on the right hand side, we can just select one of these models and you can see the new ones at the top. So if we go with flash thinking experimental, this is like a reasoning model similar to ChatGPT 3 Mini or DeepSeek R1. So I have a prompt here. And let's say create one page website for the niche fitness training. Then I'm going to write down here, write this in HTML. And hit run. And we have right here the HTML. That is extremely fast. And you see the content for the page right there. So it's very easy to automate the page step by step. Now let's copy the code and preview it on LiveWeave.com. Select this and paste the code. And now we have the page right here. Let's check this out. You have here your fitness training name or logo, about services, contact. We have unlock your fitness potential, get started today, information about us, our services, contact us. 
you can go back and forth and get that redesigned and improve etc so that was super fast so you can set up apps on starter apps you can stream real time and interact with ai in real time you can build out your own prompts you can code things in seconds and it's not costing you a penny. But on the other models like Gemini 03 or the new Deep Research features, that's all like $200 per month, right? But here in Gemini 2.0, it's completely free. Another thing is if we go to get API key, we can generate free API keys and use those to automate whatever we want with the latest models of Google Gemini. So next, if you look here, I've got a pretty simple prompt. Let's test its reasoning models. And remember, this Gemini Pro 2.0 here is not necessarily a reasoning model, and it's not even like a fully finished model. This is just an experimental model here. So if we run this in a normal sort of LLM, actually, let's try Gemini 1.5 Pro so that you can see actually what's going on here. So for a start, notice that the generation is actually a lot slower than 2.0. But what I want you to see here is I'm going to let this run just to see how many tokens we get out of this. So we've come to the end and we've gotten like 1,214 tokens out here. Let's take the exact same thing. Clear this. Now let's run the exact same thing with the Gemini 2.0 Pro model, just so that you can see the difference. So for a start, you're going to see that it's generating much quicker than before. So that alone is impressive. But you'll see that in many ways, it acts more like a reasoning model. It just has these longer traces of thinking and longer elements of generation out here. So the other one, we got 1,000 tokens. Yet this one, we can see that we have already over 2,000 tokens. And this is one of the things I've found in my testing to be quite consistent, that the model has no problems generating out a lot of tokens for something that you want. Next, let's say, write a thesis about this. Now, this is one of the other interesting things. It will often come back to us and suggest different ideas for this. Let's go for option five. So after a number of interactions, now it's actually started on writing the paper. It's got an abstract, an introduction, etc. So you can see with just a couple of prompts, we got 8,000 tokens just for this alone. Now enough with the coding, you can see in the blog post that they've released here that actually these models are also going to support image output and audio output. So these are not available in GA yet, but they're coming to both the 2.0 Flash and the 2.0 Experimental Pro model as well. You can see the other big difference for 2.0 Pro model is you're actually getting 2 million tokens for input in there. Now the third model that's come out is a flashlight preview. So you can see that the idea here is that this model is just an extremely fast text model. It's going to save things like structured outputs, function calling, but it's not going to support things like the code execution or audio output, image output, etc. The idea here is that it's just a cheap, very fast text model. So along with the announcement of the new models, we've also seen Google announce some of the pricing for the flash model and the flashlight model. Obviously, the Pro is still in experimental phase, so the pricing is not out for that yet. So you're not only limited to using this in AI Studio, you can actually go to Vertex now and put these into production for whatever you want to use them for. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Introducing Cloud Funnels 2. Build high profit, AI powered sales funnels, landing pages, opt in pages, business sites, and more in just a few clicks. Create great landing pages with drag and drop with Suede Builder. Inbuilt autoresponder. Grab leads, sales, and send your emails automatically. SEO optimized. Unlock your best ranking potential with complete SEO optimization features. Dozens of free plugins. Save $100 on plugins that get you more leads, sales, and profits supports global payment gateways, GDPR and data compliance. Cloud Funnels is available in 17 languages. Secure and 100% control over data. Create multiple funnels. Why make one funnel when you can make many? Create funnels on subdomains and subfolders too. Business analytics at your fingertips. Detailed sales and funnel analytics help you get better marketing results. Dozens of third-party integrations. Cloud Funnels protects your profits by keeping your running costs low. And a lot more. So what are you waiting for? Get Cloud Funnels 2 now. Just go to yournextfunnel.in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.